say on this as well? No, no, we'll move forward. And obviously, uh, if it feels good too wet, we'll make it wet. But, uh, where's Martine? Okay. Oh, <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's already taking vacations, but not her. Yeah, <laughs> well, you grind, you don't take vacations. You just don't come on road trips like you do. The media uh, business has changed. The right? paper business has changed. Um, I wanted to uh, ask a couple of questions about Christian Pache. Okay. What is it that you guys are looking forward to see from him uh, this spring? Were there kind of marching orders going into the offseason? I think in, in Christian's you know case, uh, from a performance standpoint, you know, offensively, you know, the adjustments, you know, for him would be you know to increase uh, you know the on base percentage, whether that's to have more success, obviously hitting or or in the uh, aspect of just getting on base, taking your walks. You know, Christian didn't really strike out a ton. It was, you know, weak contact kind of ground ball rate uh, was high. Um, I think for us, you know, when he stays to his approach in right center and utilizes the other side of the field, there was there was success last year. I think getting him back to that. You know, obviously he had a difficult year last year, so um, you know, from a confidence standpoint, getting him going early in camp and and. Uh, you know, watching to see if there's you know, that adjustment. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys pay attention to uh, his winter ball uh, performance, or is that something you did? Uh, it's, it's difficult to judge the winter ball performance. Um, you know, for us, uh, seeing him go down there and, and, and wanting to play and, you know, going out and playing on um, you know, cha championship caliber team um, and being in the lineup and, you know, having some success early, uh, those are all good signs. Mm -hmm. Will you move him around a little bit this spring? Or will you know, I think we can move Christian around. Um, you know, last year it was, it was dominant center field. That being said, he, he's, we all know his defensive abilities, and uh, you know, he, he showed those last year. The uh, thing that we, we loved about him was, you know, the energy. Um, he didn't change uh, in terms of uh, of his uh, attitude and his effort defensively. You know, he could have a bad game offensively and still go out and, and you know it didn't impact his defense at all. So uh, it's going to be a lot of looking for the uh, approach-wise and that guys which uh, Yeah, I, I think it's approach, and uh, you know, obviously. Um, you know, seeing that adjustment and seeing seeing the quality of the at bat. Wyshynski over there had quite a good ground ball rate and also a lot of strikes. How much did you that? How does that play? Well, for Wyshynski, I haven't seen a ton of him outside of just you know what we've the information we've gained in watching, um, you know, on on the video aspect and. Um, watching his pins, he definitely um, can command the baseball. He, he looks like a strike thrower that knows how to pitch. Uh, you know, he's 33, I think, and he's been, like you said, he's, he's been around and, and the experience he's had overseas, all those things combined. You know, when you, when you acquire a guy, um, you, you think about the transition period. Um, and, you know, for, for him, I think going through this spring training, uh, will give us even a better idea of, of you know, his pitch ability, and, and so that that's exciting for us to go and, and, and watch. Todd, how much can you appreciate a guy like Seth Brown who has had to fight for every opportunity to get to where he is right now, and, and then finally gets 500 at bats and, and makes the most of it? Yeah, he really did. You know, Seth made uh, a lot of adjustments last year, and the league made adjustments to him. There's no no secret that Seth can hit a fastball. Uh, the league, you know, exposed some holes off with his off speed, uh, which he made an adjustment to later in the year, which was great. You see, a, you know, you, Seth may not be young by age, but from a, 
uh, an experience you know, standpoint in terms of the amount of at-bats you're talking about, but through those 500 at-bats, you saw adjustments being made. You saw a hitter that, that uh, had a lot of growth, and uh, that's what we're looking for, continued growth this year. Uh, I know he's you know, worked really hard this offseason, um, and for me, those are the guys you want in your club, the, the grinders, like you said, that it wasn't, nothing's been given to Seth Brown. And he's earned every opportunity he's, he's had, and, and to see the maturation process and the slow growth uh, last season, uh, we, you know, we're excited about this season for him. You mentioned that he can play center. Uh, he stole double digits last year. He's a better athlete than I think people give him credit for. <laughs> he's a really good athlete. Um, you know, I had the most confidence in putting him out in center, and um, you know his sprint speed is is at the top in the organization. Even though he might not, you know, look uh, like someone with blazing speed, uh, he gets from point A to point B pretty quickly. One more on uh, Just the fact that he's out of options. How much does that play into the evaluation process? Yeah, you know, for Posh, he's in a difficult situation, as you, as you mentioned, without being uh, having the opportunity to be optioned and stay in this organization. Uh, you know, not only is he competing for a roster spot here, but he's going to showcase himself for 29 other teams. And so, um, you know, it's an important spring for Posh, no question, from an individual standpoint uh, for his career and going forward. Do you feel like you need to see some sort of urgency uh, on his part? I think he knows the situation he's in, and uh, you know we want him to be a part of this ball club. Uh, as I talked about, you know he has some intangibles here that that we value, and uh, you know I think he, he's coming to camp very prepared and very ready to, to go out and, and earn an opportunity to be a part of this roster. Uh, so what do you see uh, lineup construction-wise play out in the spring? What, do you feel like you've got more options or? Think about different possibilities of how you want to potentially use right-handed or left-handed lineups against certain pitchers. No, spring training is too early to kind of assess lineup um, in terms of just how we're going to use it, uh, the guys in the spring. I mean, early on, you, you try to favor you know, the veteran guys and get them as many at bats uh, in, in the fewest amount of innings. So, you know, as we get into spring and we get further along, I think there's um, you know more concentration on on kind of construction to the lineup, but. As you talked about, I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, uh, flexibility. There's a lot of guys that have hit in various places in the order um, throughout their careers, and so uh, early on, this is this is going to be an approach to where we're, we're you know, utilizing the veteran guys at the top to, to get them the most amount of at bats and the fewest amount of innings that we can you know, we can get them off their cleats or off their feet, and, and uh, but yet yeah, get a good workload in. Of Fun guy, love the personality. Um, professional hitter. We watch him take batting practice. Uh, you know, Aggies you know, coming off a year that he would, you know, tell you was unsatisfactory in his mindset. Um, I still think Aggies got a lot, a lot to help this ball club with. Uh, would you guys be paying attention to how he moves around the first base? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely pay attention to that. He, he's a veteran player. He knows his body. Um, you know, we want to get him out there at first base uh, and, and give him, you know, make sure that he's prepared for a season there um, without overworking him and, and causing him any type of soreness. Um, obviously, it is a little ways away, but uh, do you project him playing a lot of first? I know it would be an option for a short like, like, you know, it's it's too early to just say if he's gonna how many games you know the expectation level is. We got to see how he feels physically and how he gets through spring training. I'm just curious, have you uh, have you guys given your pitchers at all the, the option or, of uh, calling pitch, calling their own pitches with pitch counts? Is that something you're looking at? We're getting into that. We're gonna discuss it. Um, you know, with the group, I've talked to to some other managers. You know, also. Um, giving feedback, uh, it doesn't sound like there's a ton of guys that are going to want to use it. So we'll see.